Alright guys, the last piece of the lamp stack that we have to set up is PHP. So in order to install PHP, sudo app git install PHP 5, that's the version that we're trying to use. And I'm also going to recommend two additional packages that make PHP compatible with the server that is already set up, and that's a lib Apache 2 minus mod minus PHP 5, and also PHP 5 minus m crypt so alright looks good hit enter and let it do its thing do you want to use this much memory yes I do and we now have PHP installed on our server easy as that so clear now one other thing that I'm gonna recommend is this right now by default the way our server is set up if a user ever requests a directory, not any specific file, but just the main directory, it's going to look through that folder for a file called index.html. Now, since we're running a PHP-based website, we actually want to change this to index.php, since we're usually going to be serving PHP files, not just static HTML files. So I'll show you guys how to change that right now. It's actually an Apache setting, not a PHP setting. So sudo nano, get that sweet text editor etc apache2 mods minus enabled dir dot conf alright looks good alright so this is one of the configuration files for apache and as you can see whenever you open it it's gonna say okay you requested the directory index so we're going to look through it in this order. We're going to look through for a file called index.html, then index.cgi, yada, 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 and eventually index.php. Well, actually, we want to search for index.php first. So if I scroll over here and just delete index.php, then I could bump it to the front. So index.php. So now we gave it the proper order to search through, and now if we just hold control X, yes to confirm, or excuse me, yes to save our changes and enter to confirm. And the last thing that we need to do in order for those changes to take into effect is restart Apache. So sudo service Apache 2 restart. Restarting Apache, da 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 da, looking good. Now, if you ever need to install any additional modules, then it's actually really easy. apt minus cache search php5 minus so check this out you can search through all of the modules and I don't know maybe you wanna install like uh, let's find a good one maybe like JSON like people use JSON all the time whenever they're making PHP sites so let me clear this now if you ever just wanna look at a package and not install it just for some more information about it, you can use apt minus cache show and then type the package name. Now I happen to know, since I installed it on almost all of my project, that there is a package called php5 minus json. So if I wanna check this out, just throw in this command, hit enter, and it's gonna give you a bunch of information about it, what it is, you know, the size of it, a bunch of other stuff, who made it, now to actually install the package sudo not audo sudo apt get install and then just the package name which is php5 minus json so hit enter downloads it installs it boom good to go and uh yeah someone's texting me again i should probably just put my phone on vibrate but uh yeah whatever and if we actually go to this website we're gonna see hmm just got this default Apache homepage. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to just make a real quick homepage for testing. So let me just clear this out. All right, so let's open up our awesome text editor, Nano. And I know that our files go in var, www.html, index.php. So we're going to open up this index.php file and we'll just put some, I don't know, like a real quick echo statement on there. So php echo, um, hey baby, don't say maybe. 
All right, this website is definitely going to be awesome. Control X, Y, Enter. All right. So now we have that file. And actually, let me show you something else. I want to add one other page, info.php. This is a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to run this. And on info.php, I'm just going to print out PHP info. And this just gives you a bunch of information about your PHP installation in case you want to tweak any of it. Control X, Y, Enter. All right. So our home page says, hey, baby, don't say maybe. And then we also have another page that we made. And I'll show you guys that right now. So this is our home page. Hey, baby, don't say maybe. And we can also go to info.php. And this is what I was talking about. All of the information about you know PHP. If you want to change any settings or anything, feel free to uh, read through that. It's incredibly exciting, trust me. And if you ever want to remove any files, so let's say for example, all right, our home page is looking sweet, but this info page, you know, we really don't want the user seeing this for security purposes. So all we have to do is use sudo rm and then you write whatever file you want to remove. So write var www.html info.php and now we removed or deleted that file. So now if we try to refresh it, it's not found. But of course, our home page still is since we didn't delete that. So there you go. That's how you set up PHP and get it working on your server. And uh, yeah, you're ready to now start developing your website.